so yeah, I feel you for it. Quite the mess. Uh, Just slightly peckish. Oh. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm in Spain without the S. It's too long. I saw my face. It's dripping. Yeah, I'm dripping. Hello, welcome. Where I wear a ski coat in my own house because it's too cold to turn the heating on. Um, no, it's actually because the, the radiator in this room doesn't work. So what better way to warm up than to fast? I'll be doing this video with, with this lovely um, black mane I have here to keep me warm. I feel great. The ski coat is super warm and just lovely. Disclaimer on this video, obviously if you have any eating disorders and this video is not for you, the fasting is a mode that some people use to lose weight. Maybe it might be a good way if I was ever to cut, but I want to reiterate that there are a plethora of benefits from fasting that are isolated from losing weight. Last meal I had was at 4pm yesterday. So it's currently the morning of the next day. The the 18th of December, exactly 10, 10 a.m. My last meal was yesterday, Saturday, the 17th of December, and I finished that at exactly 4.30 p.m. So I'll be looking at having my first meal, I'm already looking forward to it. I'm not actually hungry, I'll be completely honest. Um, yeah, and I'll be using that uh, Monday, 19th of December at 4.30 p.m. I went to ice skating this morning, woke up at seven, Drove to the ice rink, did a nice hour of ice skating, um, not too strenuous. Drove home and listened to a podcast and now I'm, I'm talking to you. During fasting, the insulin levels in our body fall, which signals to our body to burn stored energy. So the primary energy reserve of the body is the glycogen stored in the liver. And once the stored glycogen is depleted, the body's forced to break down the stored fat for energy. And this process is known as ketosis. Okay, this is annoying me. <laughs> I'm going to take it off. Um... And extending fast, extended fasting, so we're talking 48 to 72 hours, in this video I'll be attempting a 48 hour fast, um, is a great way to force the body to enter ketosis voluntarily and break down the stored fat leading to weight loss. So notably ketosis is a normal process that occurs regularly in the human body. So with the 48 hour fast or above, it also encourages autophagy, which is a process by which the body gets rid of weak or old cells and promotes cell regeneration. So the body's insulin levels are significantly higher during the initial 12 hours of the fast. And the body is forced to find other alternatives for energy production. So that's apparently happening in my body right now. Uh, the triglycerides in the different fat stores of the body are further broken down to produce energy. During this period, the body is forced into the initial stages of ketosis and the fat stores are targeted for further energy production. I'm just doing it to see if I can do it first and to experience some of the benefits internally that fasting can bring me. There's a whole wealth of information that you guys can Google for uh, the benefits of fasting. Fasting is something that's been done. One of the oldest practices, you know, we see it in religions, but it can prevent diabetes. Intermittent fasting uh, may lead to decreased insulin resistance, increases the body's insulin sensitivity, uh, which leads to a more efficient transport of glucose from the bloodstream to the cells. Extended fasting practices lead to autophagy, where the body consumes old, weak cells and replaces them with newer, healthier cells. But fasting reduces levels of the bad LDL cholesterol. LDL cholesterol is the root cause of diseases like atherosclerosis. And additionally, studies have found that fasting dramatically reduces harmful blood triglycerides. It also can delay aging, although there's not enough evidence for this. Several animal-related studies um, show that fasting can lead to an increased lifespan and better cell health. So around a decade ago now, yep, I'm that old, 10 years ago, I did a master's in extreme physiology at King's College London. Yeah, I've got a master's, guys. <laughs> I've always been interested in the mechanisms and the science behind uh, becoming a fitter person and understanding just how our body works and I think it's also become more popular in recent years the podcast from Professor Andrew Huberman um, that has become very popular because people are curious to understand how their body works and I think it should be something that we talk about more not just if you're a doctor or you're in the medical field you know I think it's it's important information so I have missed looking at uh, scientific literature and uh, un un just understanding a little bit more you know we're only in this world for an average of 4,000 weeks, that's about 80 years, and I just want to understand how things work. The cellular and me molecular mechanisms by which intermittent fasting improves health and counteracts disease processes involve activation of adaptive cellular stress response signaling pathways to enhance mitochondrial health, 
DNA repair and autophagy. Um, fasting also promotes the stem cell based regeneration as well as long lasting metabolic effects. As much as I can go really into the science and make this sound like you're taking your A-level or something like that, um, I think that there's a lot of information out there that can explain it far better than me and I want to stress that this video is just my personal take and my experience with um, how I go about fasting for 48 hours. Sometimes intentionally or not intentionally I do find myself um, going through a fast. Be more than the hunger, it's boredom. I think boredom almost hurts you more. <laughs> but around 19 to 20 hours I tend to get hungry and then I just stuff my face. That doesn't happen regularly, believe me. Maybe like on the odd day that I'm you know, I travel to halfway around the world and I'm stuck on an aeroplane or something like that. <laughs> but I have done it before and um, yeah, it's around 20 hours that I start to feel the hunger. Okay, so the time is 10.35 on Sunday, the 18th of December. Um, so I've just finished recording my introduction about why I'm fasting and I'm going to be reading this book, Can Love Last by Stephen A. Mitchell. It's a great non-fiction book on the psychology of love. And I'm a quarter of the way through. Oh, that was wishful thinking. So it's just plain, it's just plain hot water and it honestly does wonders. It just, it fills you up like you're having soup. There's something about hot water. It's currently... 12 o'clock midday okay 12.01 but yeah i am a little bit peckish not really hungry i feel like in a couple of hours i could eat a nice big meal and uh yeah i'm just a tiny bit peckish so i'm just gonna lie down read my book for a little bit i could eat a family-sized bag of crisps or 24 wheat books it's the halfway point it is 4 30 p.m the peckishness hasn't really turned to hunger um, I don't know whether it's like somewhere in my cycle or something. Just gone quarter past nine and I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm in Spain without the S, if you know what I mean. I'm in pain. No, I'm not in pain. I'm just um, really the massive hunger pang that I thought I would feel. I haven't really felt. I just feel a little bit delirious. I feel quite euphoric. That's that's the word I'm looking for, which I did read about. And I feel it's going to be difficult getting to sleep, but we'll see how it goes. Morning. I do feel quite hungry. I feel quite weak, to be honest. I do feel um, quite hot. And that's, you know, you've seen the, the weather in, in where I am at the moment is really cold and people are really cold. I don't have the heating on. And I feel quite hot, um, so I'll be looking up what that symptom's about. I might research some more benefits of fasting to remind myself why I'm doing this. Um, there's lots of stuff from Sachin Panda, who was one of the first people to sort of explain this kind of scientific benefits to fasting. Yeah, it's getting to the point where I don't know how much how much concentration I can have. I think I've passed the euphoric point where um, you can sort of zone in and really concentrate when you're fasting. And I think I'm just... This is pushing me to the limits and I'm finding this quite difficult and I think I will find the rest of the day difficult and I hate wishing time away, but I I will be wishing time away and hoping it, it gets to 4.30 soon. I know we're having a cost of living crisis and the price of a lot of food is going up as well, but um, you know, it just puts things into perspective that we live in a part of the world where food is in abundance and I can just pop to my nearest supermarket and and buy whatever food I, I want, including tropical exotic fruits, you know, that get um, that get sent here and and cuisines and, and types of foods that are consumed in all different parts of the world. And it does blow my mind sometimes. Um, yeah. So I'm just trying to like um, hone in and, and the hunger reminds me to how grateful I feel. Morning. I have a little bit of salt because I am feeling quite like I haven't got much energy. Hopefully make me feel, get a little bit of a zing and uh, push me through these last uh, eight hours or so. That's snow. <laughs> I can't really taste it. I don't know if I'm getting a placebo effect, but I've just had a few sips and I'm like, oh, I feel I've got a bit more energy. No, it's probably a placebo effect, can't work that fast. <laughs> if you want to try this, going for walks and making sure you're outside, even on dull, dull days like this, 
is really worth it. And I think the salt water has worked or whatever it is, even if it's a placebo effect, I feel like I have a lot more energy. Um, well, a little bit more energy, not as much as I would if I was, uh, if I had a nice, nice big meal right now. Even to take two days out of your time, the first day is, is you can just about manage, but the second day, you know, you can't be doing too much exercise or um, you may want to spend the day in bed. So many people have to uh, go to work or look after their kids and they can't afford to deliberately put themselves in a position where they would feel a little bit weaker. When you go without, you, the, the feeling of being appreciative is heightened. I'm not saying we can't be appreciative in our day to day, but when you feel it yourself, you know, um, and yeah, it makes me happy that I can do an experiment like this. The, the reason I'm doing this is to test my limits. So it's just feeling so weak walking. I was trying to get some Christmas presents, got caught in the rain, no handbags, all the presents got wet. Um, you can see from my hair, it's just so windy. <sighs> Can't speak, sorry. Even 36 seemed fine, but 48 for me personally, I mean, I'm gonna do it for this because I'm strong-willed and I said I would, but for me personally, it's just, it's too long. Oh God, I even bought some food from Pret that I can eat like my usual sandwich. Um, just so I don't have to think when the time comes and I can just chomp it in my mouth. That will be glorious. But yeah, feeling a bit low. Sorry for complaining, but I want it to be real with you guys. This is how wet I am. I don't know if you can see because we don't have any light here. And I've got five and a half hours and I honestly just, I want to quit so badly, but then because I've done, what's the maths? Uh, 48, 10, 5, 43 hours. My God, I've done 43 hours. Ugh. Because I've done 43 hours, I don't want to um, quit now. You can see my words are slurring because I, I just want food. It also teaches you, you know, in trying testing times, how strong you actually are as a human. We're really resilient. I'm gonna keep going despite, I'm gonna change out of these, have a hot shower, and then hopefully some more time has gone by until I can have my yummy food. But yeah, look, uh, it's dripping. Like, I, like, I, like someone's just chucked some water at me. I'm wearing my waterproof socks, I look like trash. It's not nice, it's not comfortable, but um, I want to learn about myself and, and experiment. I want to see how it feels to fast for 48 hours. I've seen loads of videos of other people doing it and I want to have my own experience with it. Three hours to go. Um, I'm obviously doing this in winter, but one of the other side effects is that you get really, really cold. Like the cold just penetrates your bones. I have the heating on, but I'm just leaning against the radiator. And a uh, thing I did yesterday, which I'm gonna do now, is have a really long shower with burning hot water, just to try and get my bones to get a bit warmer. You know when it's in your body, there's no matter what you do, people can wrap you in blankets and coats and you just can't seem to get warm. I still have an hour and a half to go. <laughs> so I'm just trying to amuse myself because 90 minutes until I can eat. And uh, I thought it would be interesting to see if my stomach was any flatter. Guys, I've got five minutes left. Can you see the clock there? It's 20 past four and I have my pret with hummus. My go-to staple and mango slices. And I've done it. So you can see by the clock as well behind, I think I'm actually, it's actually 20 to five now and I still haven't eaten. So I've done 48 hours and 10 minutes. Um, I was going to take my first bite. I, suddenly I've got all this energy and I haven't even eaten. Um, I was going to take my first bite in front of you guys, but actually I'm so hungry. I'm going to like pig out on this and just bleh, hummus on my face and bleh, bleh, bleh. Um, and then I've got more food. This is like the, the starter. But I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, I've sort of mentioned how I felt throughout. Um, I will have a little reflection on it, but I still stand by it. The hardest bit was this morning, feeling a little bit dizzy as well when I woke up. The salt in the water is the magic potion if you're ever going to do any fast that's longer than 24 or 36 hours. Um, I would do it again, 24 hours and 36 maximum. Uh, any more things to say? I don't know. I'm, I'm saying all this before I've even taken my first bite. Um, Oh, I did contemplate doing two more hours to get to 50, because I was like, ah, 50 hours is quite, you know, a nice length of time. But then I was like, nah, suffered enough. Um, I'm really glad I did it though. Um, I pushed through and I didn't give up because I didn't want to um, have to go through it all again to get to 48 and then some. 
marathons, I let might as well do it now. Similar to when I did the ultra marathon, actually, after 45 kilometers, it was really like, oh, but I thought, oh, just five more because I don't want to run. I probably, I'm not going to run another ultra that length um, in the near future. So that's why I did it. Uh, it was a great experience overall. And hopefully when I look back, I'll look back through rose tinted glasses. But as you can see, I wanted to be candid with you guys, tell you guys when I feel like rubbish. And um, also, yeah, don't know how to end this because I'm super, super hungry. Again, this is like the ending of my other video. I'm so hungry. So I'm going to eat. I broke the fast two hours ago and I forgot to do this. It is now on 6 30 monday 19th of december bye hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe